Algebra 1, Unit 3, Lesson 3, Part 2, Solving Multi-Step Linear Equations and Inequalities. So again, our goal is to get the variable on the side by itself. We're going to use inverse operations, addition and subtraction undo each other, multiplication and division undo each other. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Inequalities only, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to reverse the signs. Solving is easier if we undo in reverse order or to get rid of the one that's least connected first. For more complicated examples, we may need to also use the distributive property, combine like terms, get all the variable terms on one side. And principle four is when you have variables on both sides, equations may end up having no solutions where you get something that's a false statement or you have everything which is a solution when you get something that's true. So a false would be something like 3 is bigger than 4, that would give us no solutions. Or a true statement could be like 3 is less than 4, then everything would be a solution. So we have 5 minus 7x is bigger than or equal to 21 plus x. In order to solve, you have to get all of the variable terms on the same side. You can move them either way. I could either take this minus 7x and try to move it on this side, or this x and move it on this side. I like my variables on the left, so I'm going to take this x to this side. This x is added, so I need to subtract x from both sides. At the same time, if I'm going to move the variables to this side, I need to move the separate numbers to this side. So you have to look not at what's behind it, but what's in front of that. What's in front of the 5 is an invisible plus sign, because that's a positive number. So in order to get rid of that positive 5, you have to subtract 5 from both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at the same time. That will take the variables to this side and the separate numbers to this side. 5 minus 5 cancel. They give us 0, and then we get minus 7x minus x. We'll combine those like terms. They have the same sign, so they will give us minus 8x. We keep the sign, and then we have 21 minus 5 is 16. And then plus x and minus x, again, they cancel each other because that's what, why we did it, because they undo each other to give nothing. We get minus 8x is bigger than or equal to 16. Now this is multiplication connecting them, so we're going to divide both sides by minus 8. When we do that, because we're dividing by a negative for an inequality, we have to reverse the sign and make it less than or equal to, instead of the bigger than or equal to we started to. Minus 8 over minus 8 is 1, so that gives us 1x is less than or equal to 16 over minus 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2, with that negative will give us minus 2. We get x is less than or equal to minus 2. Because it's an inequality, we're going to graph, so we'll put minus 2, minus 3, and 1 in the proper order. It has an equal, so we put a closed circle, and then we want all the numbers which are less than or equal to minus 2, which is everything to the left. In this one, we have parentheses, so we need to combine those. First, we're going to use the distributive property. We would get 5x plus 15. And then we're subtracting that, so that would be minus 2x minus 7 is equal to that. I'm going to combine like terms first. I would get 5x minus 2x is 3x, and then 15 minus 7 is 8, so I would get 3x plus 8 equals 3x plus 8. I'm going to take all my variables to the same side, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, and I'm left with 8 equals 8. That is always true, and therefore any number you put in there is a solution. So we would write all real numbers are solutions. Here we have 2 thirds x minus 8 is bigger than 1 third x plus 4. And I'm going to take my variables to the left, so I want to move this over here, and then I want to take the separate number term and move it to the other side. By the way, when we move from side to side, we're always either adding or subtracting. We never multiply or divide to move something from side to side. So this is a plus one-third x, so I'm going to subtract one-third x from both sides. And then this is a subtracting 8, so I need to add 8 to both sides to get rid of that. I'm going to subtract my one-third x and add my 8. And this side, this cancels, and on this side, this cancels. 2 thirds minus 1 third is 1 third left, so I get 1 third x on this side. I keep the sign, and then 4 plus 8 is 12. Now this is multiplying by 1 third. I have my choice. I can either 
multiply by the reciprocal or just divide by the one third. So I've chosen here to write as multiplying by the reciprocal, but if you had wanted to take and divide by one third here and divide by one third here, that would also be a correct way of doing it. Of course, 12 divided by one third is simply 12 times the reciprocal of that, which is three. On this side, three times one third simply gives us one. And this side, 3 times 12 is 36, so we get x is bigger than 36. We would put 35, 36, and 37. Open circle in the 36 because there's no equal. And we want all the numbers that are bigger than 36, so we would shade to the right. 3 times the quantity x minus 6 plus 36 is equal to 6. First, we need to distribute. 3x minus 24 plus 36 equals 6. Then I'm going to combine my like terms on the same side. We have minus 24 plus 36. That will give us 12, a positive 12. So we would say 3x plus 12 is equal to 6. I've got the variables on a side by itself, but I need to take separate number term to the opposite side. So to get rid of adding 12, I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. This one will cancel. So here I'm left with 3x. And then on the other side, I get equal 6 minus 12. Those are opposite signs. They take away from each other. 12 minus 6 is 6. And then there were more negatives, so that will be minus 6. Now this is multiplication, so I need to get rid of it by dividing. So I divide both sides by 3. This will give me 1. So I get 1x, which is just x. And then minus 6 divided by 3 is minus 2, so x is minus 2. So I'll repeat that when you do this, make sure that you are taking all the variable terms to one side and everything without the variable to the other side.